Hook set in three, two, one. Hey, welcome back. That was one bass I caught. Let's not get Scott. Come on. Let's not get Scott. Come on. I didn't get skunk today. It's just a dink, but I didn't get skunk today. Gosh. Uh, went out bank fishing for, I mean, all day. The bass bite has been tricky because we are in a transitional period between winter and spring. Although we are now into the third or fourth day of spring, uh, waters are warming up, but we're a little bit behind where we were with bass last year as far as the bite. So today we're gonna go on and look for some white crappie at East Fork Lake. Um, in the ponds that we usually fish, we catch a lot of black crappie, the Pomoxis nigra maculatus. But today we're gonna to go to East Fork Lake because they have a high population of the white crappie species, and that's the Pomoxis inularis. Um, Neil and I are gonna grab our kayaks and uh, get out there and see what we can get. You locked and loaded, Neil? This is your kayak's maiden voyage. Sure is. Got the crescent from light tackle. All right. And I'm just going to be uh, vertically jigging live minnows today. All right, this is our uh, air temperature. Water temperature right now at the surface level is 54 degrees. We've had a couple warm days, which is nice. You want a race? No. Why? You don't know where to go. I'll just. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, White crappie. All right, so just a small white crappie. How do you tell the white crappie? First of all, they have stripes down like this, like a bluegill, instead of that digital camo, like the black crappie I got last week. The easiest way to tell a white crappie is counting these main spines. One, two, three, four, five, six. A white crappie would have five to six of these front dorsal spines, and a black crappie would have seven to eight. So this is just under eight inches. It's not legal keeper size. So I'm gonna throw them back in. Crappie, live minute. Right up on the shore. Look at Neil found tied up to a rock. Poor guy. Is that somebody else's leader, I guess? Yeah. Are you gonna um, hook him? I don't know. Are you just gonna so. let him free? Uh, Man, that's like a lobster. A I wonder if that shed. There we go. That might be a keeper. Just a 10 and a quarter white crappie. All right, we have a white crappie, 10 inch. I'm going to keep this one for dinner. Probably won't do a catch and cook. Might show you the finished product though. Let's put it on ice. Okay, so I'm gonna take the crappie fillets and make a kind of a uh, fusion of Louisiana slash Maryland crab cakey sandwich type deal.
you can see that they're about 15. Uh oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, baby bluegill. Baby bluegill. There we go. So Neil, I'm just dropping it, going all the way to the bottom and very slowly, very slowly bringing it up, dropping it again, but just that slow bring up, I'm getting hit, getting hit on that. Nine inches on the dot. That's a keeper. Just a little guy though, I'm not gonna get a lot of meat from it. Might use this for a uh, vacuum seal this up for some cut bait though. Oh, I lost my minnow on them though. Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. About that white crappie. About those vertical stripes I was telling you about. That's what they look like on white crappie. I'm not really setting the hook. I'm letting them set the hook. It's rough over here because. Atta boy, Neil. There we go. It felt, it felt heavy. Just because I haven't caught a fish in a while. It's a nice one though. Nice. Do you want it? Yeah. Nice. Neil, watch out, there, there might be a big wake on you. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. That is my big, that's probably the biggest one of the day. Nice job. 11 inch white crappie. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, so I'm at 21 feet of water and I'm registering fish around 14. So I'm gonna drop it below that. I'm, I'm just gonna really jig it slow and there we go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, not a keeper, but we got one. All right, we'll call it a day. Um, we didn't do too bad. Set out to catch a cup of crappie for dinner for some uh, cut bait. Um, we caught most of them on live minnow. Neil caught them on a chartreuse little crappie bait. Um, but, you know, I kept everything that's over nine inches and uh, there's a lot of crappie in here, I and mean, you got to remember, one female will lay, lay between 5,000 and 60,000 eggs, and all of them will hatch within like three to five days. This is definitely a crappie lake. You ready to get out of here, Neil? All right. Okay, that'll wrap up this week um, with Cincy Fish Dudes. We had a couple hours to get out on the water and uh, we had a good time. We, we, we definitely uh, caught what we were targeting. I was using 10 pound test. Uh, it was a braided test and uh, I used a uh, fluorocarbon four pound uh, lead. And I just used these tiny little jig heads um, and I vary the size depending on you know, my line. Um, I use an ultralight. Uh, chartreuse or hot pink jig heads and when the water is muddy like that I, I just think the crappie are more attracted to it all right so we will see you next week if you haven't already we'd love it if you subscribe we appreciate your likes your comments stick around for next week we'll see what species we're going to target next until then